Hello everyone and welcome to some Guild Wars 2 sightseeing. Now basically what this is, is we have the classic GeoGuessr game where you get a map of the world and you get a variety of different photos and based off the photo you have to try to pick where you are in the world by putting a pin down on the map. Where this is basically that, but in game. So we are currently in the game of Guild Wars 2 and we have this add-on running alongside it and we have this overlay on top of my guild wars 2 that we can see right up here that i can drag around kind of there we go i believe this is like still early in development and i think it was like kind of dropped where the developer who's the same developer as the individual who does guild wars 2 geoguesser is working on this but it's not like fully complete but if you want to check it out i will throw a link down in the description but i'm going to go ahead and go through a few different logs where let's go to the top ones and there are some made by the developer including some locations that you can find in GeoGuessr which is cool and we have this getting started one that I started with and you can make your own like different packs for people to go through the road with to find different places and through this app you can actually submit recommendations by sending in a screenshot and your like location marker so that it could potentially be in Guild Wars 2 GeoGuessr and I'm not sure how on top of things that is but let's go ahead and do medium trip down memory lane revisit some locations and memories from the past so basically we are going to do Guild Wars 2 GeoGuessr 24 different locations but in game so I'll go ahead and select this where you can actually enter a lottery it looks like but it ends on December 19th, which I assume is a year ago. And basically how this works is we have a few different screenshots all around here, which looks like they're mostly from Corteria. So we need to look at each individual screenshot and try to figure out where we are in the world. Which looking at this one, it looks like, and we can zoom in too, which opens this. And we can see my taskbar down here, which is fun. But we can get a bigger photo of that but let's go ahead and head over to lion's arch where i can make this smaller if i wanted but i think it's fine and let's go to diverse ledges waypoint and this one as well as the second one kind of looks like the ruins around lion's arch which i'm actually i'm pretty sure this is lion's arch i guess while we're here we can easily get this one and basically what we have to do is kind of just line up the frame and it's a little finicky but if we can get like a good angle on it we should get a ding and I think if we go like this it might help a little bit so we need to go back a little looks like and just line it up like this Let's come over here. Got the thunder shrimp there and everything. There we go. Found the location. I just had to back up a little bit and get over here, looks like. So there's the screenshot ish. There, that's the angle, but we got the ding and that location is found. Okay, now this one. This feels like it's Lion's Arch and it feels like it would be down here. So let's come right over here where we're going to have the staircase right there. So we are on the other side of it over around here. And if wait, no, we're over here. So let's swim over here. So we're looking at it from this angle. And then I think we need to back up a ways because I always think we're closer. And we are, and then let's swim in this way. Come down here a little bit. Oh, I think we're actually over here. So we'd be like, yeah, here we go. I think I was in the wrong area. So let's swim back here a bit. There we go. That one was a little bit more finicky, but I was in the wrong area at the start there. So there is two out of, what was it, 24? So now let's go to the Temple of the Ages over here in Queensdale. Go to God's Lost Waypoint. And it looks like we are on like the southern end of this area. So if you come like right about here, let's dismount. So is this, no, wait. 
where is this little outcropping is it here or are we on this side right here there we go found that location okay next Ooh, is this that kind of looks like Cormier okay my initial guess I thought this was like the statue of Melandru and Gendarn fields but I don't think that's the case where would this be located where would Cormier be I think all these locations are vanilla so somewhere yeah it's definitely not a Melandru statue that I thought or Malagan excuse me that looks like a risen statue so are we somewhere over here I don't think I know this location if I'm being honest let's just come around this way and see what we can find so I might be on the completely wrong path right now and I'm trying to think of other locations in the game that might have old statues but the thing that's really throwing me off is how this looks like Cormier and there wouldn't be a statue of Cormier in ore but there also wouldn't be too many statues of Cormier elsewhere where we have a normal statue that's in divinity's reach is this wait is this god's law swamp did i just leave the location this isn't let's come back up here really quickly where would there'd be water down there because so, there's a lot of underwater statues here but when we look at the tempo of the ages and the original guild wars there aren't oh, okay so i was literally on top of <laughs> Now these two lines are, so now we have these two right here. So it's right here. Is this Cormier? Yeah, that's... That's Cormier, but there wasn't... A statue of Cormier here in the original Guild Wars. So I actually had, like, no idea... That this was here. Which is really, really cool, actually. That, like... I guess this is, like, a little piece of Guild Wars storytelling... That happened between the original Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2. Unless there is a statue of Cormier in... The Temple of the Ages and I'm just dumb, but they like built the statue after characters were like done with the original Guild Wars. And now we can see in Guild Wars 2 kind of like how this area progressed after the events of Guild Wars 1 prior to it being sunk in. Now we just have to get a good angle on this. Oh, there we go. Next, this one might actually be funny because I progressed the Soto story. So the Wizard's Tower is not going to be here, but we can try to get a good view of it. So here we are. And okay, this is going to be a little tricky. And the thing I have to help me, I think, is going to be right here. Let's come up here. I feel like this is kind of the... Like natural viewing point for this location oh there we go it was the vista okay next we have the beautiful grove so let's go ahead come down to one of the most beautiful locations in Gilders 2 if I do say so myself and it looks like we're looking up towards the center of the grove so let's come over this way so we're gonna have Oh, we're going to be up here, aren't we? No, 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 no. We're not up here. And we'll be looking at it from... No, this isn't right. Because we have all these spirals. Which I think the spirals would be... Maybe destruction. Let's see. It's kind of tricky. Oh, which side are we on? Okay. So we have the spirals there, but that's not right. All of those. So there we go. We're at like this angle. 
And then we have this leaf. Okay, that's my sky scale. So here we go. Okay, I think this is right. We just have to get a good positioning. Okay, I've been messing around with this one a lot and I can't seem to get it, but I think I did get like the frame pretty decent if you like, like come up here if you come here and then like right about here I think actually now that I think about it like <sighs> oh I spent so much time trying to get it like perfectly right there then I realized we're actually we're actually here okay I'm silly Okay, let's go to Radisu. And we need to go up to this waypoint, I think. Because I think this is going to be the bridge coming in from this waypoint. And then these two go off this way. And then I think there's like one more right there. Yeah, and one more right there. So we're looking at it from pretty much this angle. And we might actually be way further back here. There we go. We're back here. So I found that location next. Okay, so we have a Dildramore ruin here. And initially I'm not a hundred percent sure, but let's come to Jocknar's Forge first because this is a green area okay so the, the area around Jocknar is green I can't oh I feel like actually I might have seen this before it's really giving me Jocknar vibes but what other locations have a very large like dwarven like doorway like this I know there must be another one. Okay, so I'm starting to think it's not Drakenar because yeah, this is definitely like partially underwater. Okay, so we have ruins on either side of it. Where are locations dwarves hung out at? We have oh, it could be up here. Oh, and then we have the western walls of Timberline. So I think this is, I think I just went to a condition. Oh, no. So I think it's right here. Or it could be this one, actually. I think it's here. So I think we're, yeah, that looks right. There we go. Found the location. I don't know why I thought that was Drachner's Forge at first. Wish this one, I'm gonna have to expand this one. Is it, this, this is Drachner's Forge. Is there here, yep, okay. Two Drachner's Forge we go. We're like right about here. Looking at it from this angle. Let's come back here a little bit. Swim here. Uh, actually, I think we're more over here. Kind of, tri no, there we go. Okay, I was like, Kind of tricky. I don't know why. Okay, here is an interesting one. I'm not entirely sure. Let's start scouting it out. So, let's come here. This is giving me Plains of Ashford vibes. So, I think we're somewhere in the Plains of Ashford. It wouldn't be here, would it? No. I think we might be closer to the ruins of Ascalon. Like one of the, like the wall segments you can walk through. This is another tricky one because we don't have too many like identifiers for like where exactly this would be. And ultimately I feel like it could be anywhere along the Great Wall. Though these are like relatively iconic locations. So it must be somewhere slightly important. We have the whole Ash Legion camp here, of course. But it doesn't look like 
any staircases there. Maybe... I don't think it's in Alani. Maybe it's in the char starting area? I don't think it's anywhere along here. This one's so tough. And I'm looking at the tree in the background and it looks like every single tree in Ascalon, so it could be anywhere. Maybe it's here. This is where I first came to. There's no staircase here, right? Hmm, staircase. Could this be Wallbridge Blitz? I don't think so, but... Okay, before we go to Wallbridge Blitz, this went in the back of my brain, and I thought, it can't be, but maybe it's the jumping puzzle up here. Let's just take a quick look, because it's not the Great Northern Wall, but it is Ascalonian Ruins. Okay, it's not this. Let's go over towards uh, the plateau again. Yeah, I don't think it's anywhere around here. I'm thinking of Iron Marches, because I recently explored the wall area near there. But I don't think that's right either. I may have to concede on this one. I don't know enough about the Great Northern Wall or Ascalonian Ruins in order to come to a good idea of where this potentially could be. And honestly, just no idea. Yeah, I think I'm going to give up on this one, but if you have any ideas of where this is, go ahead and let me know down in the comments and we can see if I can get it uh, after I upload this video. So we will just have to wait and see for that. Oh well. Let's go to this one, which is back down here in Mount Maelstrom. And we're like up on the island here that has the vista on it, I believe. So over here, I haven't heard that ding noise in a long time. There we go, that's so satisfying. Okay, Statue of Grinth, this was taken during Path of Fire, it looks like. So let's come over towards Lornar's Pass, and let's go to Reaper's Gate. Steam machinery, enter old dwarven ruins, alongside a Statue of Grinth and a bunch of undead, and a portal to the fifth raid of Gilbert's 2, but let's get a nice view onto the Statue of Grinth. So we're going to be up here towards the dead body and then looking down this way. Uh, there we go. So next location, uh, this is the door to the Bloodstone and Ore. So let's come to here, Bramble Pass, and then we go, is it up here? I think it's this area over here. Or is this, is this the cave entrance? Did I just fly straight past it? There we go. Okay, now we just have to run through this like kind of small labyrinth here. We come through here, and then, there we go. We got it already, down right there. Okay, next, uh, not not more Ascalonian ruins. This is not not the same place. Oh, we must be over here. The blasted moors. This must be destroyed siege weaponry. Okay, we have to find a staircase. Is it to this area up here? The Greenwich ruins where we had the Gilbert's one bonus mission. Oh yeah, it must be right here. Let's come here. We are getting attacked by a lot of stuff. So I think it's right about here. There we go. Found the location. Next, we have this one. Which is this? The one over here? Is there a tree here? Hold on, let's go check it out. Okay, there's not a tree here. Then where could this one be? I feel like I've remembered this tree, but I don't. And it's old ruins. Huh, could it be 
in this area? I don't think so, but I guess we can just check. Is there a big tree without too many trees around it? Doesn't look like that's the case. I suppose this could also be in like Plains of Ashford somewhere. Oh, could this be down here maybe? Let's go check. Let's see if this looks right. This is like the island. I don't think it is because the trees in the background wouldn't make too much sense. Oh yeah, it's definitely not. Could this be up here actually? This is Pikin Square. I was just here. So this would be kind of embarrassing if it took me this long to get it, but next location. Uh, just over here. Okay, okay, that's fine. You can already see it coming into view there. Where I think we're on the shore just over here where this entire village is currently destroyed by the Flame Legion. But if we come to like where this black sheep is and we look at it from about here, I think. Are we further back? Further up the mountain. It could be up here, I suppose. There we go. I thought I stood here. I guess I did not. Okay, next location. This is Baradin's Vault. So let's come, or so close is right here, Views Gate. Oh, this one sometimes gets contested. So we'll see what happens when we load in. Yeah, okay, we're fine. So let's come right around here. And we have these char soldiers, and then we're like right there. Found the location. Next, Tim or the statue of Badazar, Dead God's Lair. We are on the other end of it because we're looking at the beautiful face of the fallen god. And come around here, and then look from this side I guess maybe over here because of the angle maybe a little closer maybe a little further back maybe a little over here I think it's like oh are we here and then we have this tree right here okay we're like right about here okay there we go the angle was a little weird on that one Okay, not this one, <laughs> not the Searing Crystal. The Searing Crystal that's over here, I think. Now, I think we're going to be on the southern end of the crater because... Oh, let's just go get a nice side perspective of this. Okay, no, we're on the other side. I guess that was more the western side. So let's come over here. And we're going to have a few trees around us. Where would a tree be to our left? Oh, it would be right there. So we must be here-ish. Right around here. So maybe on the edge of the mountain up here. There we go, found that location. Next we have just over here, is it? The Wreckage of Serenity. I think this is right. This is like a branded Duena statue, correct? And it would be right there. So we're going to be on the western end of this area. Looking in at it from right about here. Maybe up in, there we go. Found the location. Next, Ascalonian Catacombs. This one's easy. Just come over here. Okay, now we just need to get a good angle, and I think we're on the other side of this pillar, right about here. And closer to here, maybe back up. There we go. Next, we have. I think this is Gwyn's grave in Ebon Hawk. Let's go down here and check it out. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is what I'm thinking of. So yeah, this looks right. So we're gonna be like very close to the grave. Let's dismount kind of a tight area. Mounts weren't intended for this area. 
Okay, we have Volum's grave at the battle pit, not Volum's, Anton's grave at Volum's battle pit up here. So let's come look at this. I think most of these locations, what's the name of this pack again? Uh, trip down memory lane, revisit some locations and memories from the past. I think most of these are like related to Guild Wars 1, which is cool. And some of them are like maybe not super related, like Radisum. Radisum is a location in the original Guild Wars, but like the angle we got of it is not very Guild Wars 1 y. But this is a really, really cool pack, and I like this a lot. But we have right here, we're gonna be super close to it. There we go. Next, I think this is gonna be Dredge Hawk Cliffs. It's down here, and I think it's going to be up here at the Granite Citadel. I think this waypoint's often contested. And I think we're going to be on like the top layer. So if we come up here, we have like all these old like dwarven graves or whatever. Is this the right area that I am thinking of? And could it be? Hmm. Maybe this is not the spot I'm thinking of. Or is it? This looks right. There we go. Found this location. And oh, is that the last one? Except for the one we missed. So if I come back here. Oh uh, yeah, we're at 23 out of 24. Which if we come back down here, this is the one we are missing. Since it's the only one we're missing, I'll go ahead and try to find it again. But I won't spend too much time doing it because honestly, I have no idea. But... Okay, I've been stuck on the Great Northern Wall. What other areas could this be? It could be a Rebel Seclusion maybe? I'll just come up here. Uh, oh, 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 I missed something in the photo. I'm just now realizing, if you look at this photo, I'll bring it over here and I'll go full screen. I'm missing this. Somebody probably saw this and was screaming at me, but that, my friends, is a piece of char technology or infrastructure so where exactly this is I think might actually be in the starting area but there are a few other locations so we just have to think about where the char have a walkway over Ascalonian ruins so in fact, maybe it's not right here. I saw that. I'm like, oh, maybe it's here. Okay. This is getting me excited, actually. So it can't be Old Duke's estate. Where? Oh, where? I don't think there's anything there. It must be. I'm just going to check. I don't think it's anywhere around here. Yeah, this is just a normal bridge. I think we're looking for a more like flat pathway, but I'm not 100% sure. So I think we're somewhere underground-ish. And might be Ruins of Ren, because there's a lot of char stuff around here. And I think it does go underground a little bit. Like over here goes underground. Though I don't see any char walkways. So maybe it is not Rin. This kind of looks like it. But there's no char walkways here. Maybe we're somewhere else in this area? Could we be up here potentially? I don't think so. Oh, is this it? Is this it? Is this it? 
Is this it? I think, I think we found it. I think we found it. Okay. Wait, what's back here? Oh, I just got, I got, oh, okay, there's so much stuff going on. I got distracted by that. Congratulations, you finished the challenge. Click anywhere to continue. <laughs> That's the perfect way to finish a challenge. Get me super excited about seeing this and then seeing a cave and wanting to go into it. But to click anywhere to close, close up there. And I'll go ahead and open this up a little bit bigger. Where that took me longer than I thought it would take me. But that was a lot of fun. Where this is kind of just like some Guild Wars 2 GeoGuessr inside of the game of Guild Wars 2. I'll go ahead and can I rank this five stars? There we go. Five stars. Only three people have voted this five stars. But if you want to go ahead and play this, you can go ahead and find a link to this down in the description where you have the one that I just did. You have like a basic getting started one, which I can show you right here, where all these are very iconic locations. And then there are a variety of others that you can participate in as well. And you can make your own if you want. But I don't think this has a super big community. And it is also a little finicky at times. But overall, a really, really fun experience. And if you're bored, it's probably just something to enjoy yourself with. But it is something you have to download. So just be careful about downloading random things off of the internet. But hopefully this video wasn't too boring as I was kind of just thinking a lot. And going back and forth on a lot of things. And being really dumb about a couple of locations. But... I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all are taking good care of yourselves. Remember, as always, to drink some water, check your posture, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time in the world of Tyria. Goodbye.